Every metal has a large number of free electrons which moves randomly within the body of the conductor. The average speed of free electrons is sufficiently high. During random motion, the free electron collides with the atom of the conductor again and again and after each collision their direction of motion changes. Due to random motion of all free electrons, there is no net flow of charges in any particular direction. Consequently, no current is established in the conductor. When the potential difference is applied across the end of a conductor, an electric field E is set up at every point within the wire. The electrons experience a force in a direction opposite to the electric field E. As a result of this force and the continuous collision with the atoms, the electrons acquire a net drift velocity. And drift velocity is defined as the average velocity with which free electrons get drifted in a metallic conductor under the influence of electric field is called drift velocity. Mathematically, the drift velocity can be written as u is equal to j divided by nq, where j is the current density, n is the charge carrier number density, and q is the charge on the carriers or the charge on the electrons. We know that the current density j is equal to current divided by area. So, substituting the value for j, we will have drift velocity is equal to i divided by n a q, where a is the cross-sectional area and i is the current. The unit of drift velocity is meter per second. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe EasyEDU for more videos.